Hello, my name is Laura Hurdle, and I am the assistant to the IPA at the Senate House State Historic Site here in Kingston, New York, and we are going to learn how to make cornhusk bells today. I just want to go through what materials we have uh, for cornhusk bells. Obviously, you need corn husks, but what you have to do is you have to soak them in water, let them dry, just enough to make them pliable so we can bend and twist them the way we want to. Um, here we have some string, uh, we need scissors, we need felt, um, some yarn for hair, and we need, have these leather bands that we're going to be tying around the corn husks as well. Um, so let's get this started. Um, first, you take about three or four corn husks. I'm going to take I'm going to take uh, three here and what we're going to do is we're going to line them all up at the very edge just like that and I think well, at least personally I like having the longer one on the top and you'll see why in just a few minutes. So we're going to start off by making the head. So you just take about an inch or so and pinch in at the top and you're going to take a string And we're gonna tie it around. I like tying it really tight because it stays a lot better that way. And then you're gonna to wanna to knot it. All right, so that's what it should look like right off the bat. Now, you're gonna to wanna to give the head a little more shape. So you are going to take this part right here, this longer part, that's what I was just talking about, and flip it over. This is surprisingly, it's going to give the head a little more shape. You'll, you'll see in a second. There we go. So that'll be, that's a pretty good shape for a head. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another piece of string and we are going to tie this one as well. Tie it really, really, really tight. My hands are not cooperating. Just give me one second. Okay, so there's your head. Now we're gonna need arms. So what we were gonna do is we're gonna take this last corn husk right here, I'm gonna roll it up, and we're gonna dry it off just a little bit more. We don't want it super wet. And we're gonna roll it up. And we're gonna tuck it underneath this uh, this first layer right here. There we go. It's a little... We can fix that, it's no problem. So, we're gonna make the arms a little more, uh, not, not as lopsided, so we're gonna trim the ends like that. I'm gonna trim the end right here. And we're gonna fix this. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So you have arms now. Now we get to pick um, a tunic. We have brown or black, and I'm gonna pick a black one today. I'm gonna put it right over the head. And now, to secure it, this is when we are going to take the leather band. I'm going to actually cut this in half, because we're going to need some more of this later. And we're going to tie it around the waist. This is going to keep the arms and the tunic in place. See, it's coming together. Not quite done yet though. 
Um, we're gonna get some hair for our, for our corn husk doll. I'm gonna put it right at the top. Um, and what we do to keep the hair in place is we're gonna take the other half of the leather band and we're going to secure it right at the top. Although if it's not long enough, we can get another piece. But I think this will work. A little lopsided, but we can fix it, no problem. Sometimes it requires some adjusting. And that is how you do a corn husk doll. So now if you want to make your corn husk doll into a boy, it's very simple. What we're gonna do is we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut right up the middle. And we are going to take another piece of string and we are going to give it feet, just like this. Always fix the doll afterwards, so don't worry if it starts coming apart. Then we're gonna take the scissors, I'm gonna trim the string. Ah. And then we're gonna do the other side the same way. You've got a boy cornhouse doll.